Hey guys, this is mplecky23 for cardrunners.com. I'm here today to go over a forum post to ensure that you guys are getting the most out of looking over hand histories in the forums. Um, so here we have a hand posted by Gabe the Kid, standard 200 uh, zoom, in which uh, he's wondering what to do on the river facing three barrels, given uh, the stats for a certain villain. And villain's opening 41% from the cutoff. He's folding to 3 bet 79% of the time. C bet per street's pretty high, and we have a reasonable sample size for the flop and turn, but not so much for the river. In this, he's he's looking for an answer for what, what we should be doing on the river. Um, one of the first things that stands out to me, though, looking at this post, is that villain is folding to th uh, 3 bets 79% of the time. And what that means is we can 3 bet any two cards and auto show a profit because he's simply not defending enough so we can over a cutoff raise or even a, a button raise we should be three betting from the blinds with eight two offsuit and even if he calls and we open muck the flop we're going to show a profit or if he four bets every time we're going to show a profit so that's one thing um, i'm thinking about that has nothing to do with what gabe's trying to get out of the hand um, however i would call queen jack suited here just because while 3-betting is going to be plus EV, I think flatting is going to be more plus EV. And an adjustment I'd make to this guy would be to flat all my aces, kings, queens, jacks, ace, king, those type of hands. Um, especially until he catches on. Onto the hand in question. The first thing I want to do is plug in a handful of ranges into Carter and his EV and get to the river and figure out if we give uh, villain or the cutoff all of his value range that's three barreling pretty much unquestionably it's going to be ace king plus and better I, I put in Gabe's thoughts for what villain would be three barreling with in which he said uh, he thought ace jack would be a three barrel and ace nine is a check back as well as up dog and overbet come in basically saying that he can be three barreling with like a jack ten off Hands that have showdown value. So I'll show you how to put that into Carter and his EV and how to weight him. So back to the hand. I've already inputted um, the hand ranges for the cutoff. And the stacks are for 510. I've just converted the sizes from 1, 2 to 510. So we have cutoff raising 41.4% here. Pretty standard range. And us defending roughly 15% minus the top 3% of hands. Like I said, against this villain, I'd be flatting all these top hands and just 3-betting all my trash that you think is not going to be as profitable to call and play play hand from the blinds versus him. So in this spot, we're checking the flop and cut off his C-betting 75%. We'll take a look at what his range is. So it's all, all this is the nutted stuff. He's certainly betting uh, any ace, any any backdoor uh, flush draw that he has possible. And almost all the time, all his gut shots. So kings, just uh, king 10, king 6, stuff like that. Um, all that's getting bet. And all these other uh, king x1s with the backdoor flush draws are included in this condition above here. And then... I'd also take a look at what hands he'd be checking back. And we see he's checking back some weak queens, some weak tens, some jack nines. Whether or not that's uh, true, I'd actually probably include um, all the jack nines in here too by changing this to gut shot or more, but it's not going to change too much.